Today we're at Gaywood Farm, north of Pulborough, and we're here with a group of volunteers from the Wild Horsham District doing some tree planting. Habitat restoration is a really important part of the project, and in the south of England, woodland is a really important habitat, and particularly wet woodland. As you can see, this is a very wet field, lots of rushes and things, so we're out here planting a lot of wet associated species, things like alder and willow. Wet woodland is one of our most species rich habitats um, in the UK and this bit of wet woodland here when it when it grows up um, will link the ancient woodland over here behind us to the woodland over here and connectivity is also really important for the project um, really important for the wildlife so we're trying to build nature networks and make it easier for species to move across the landscape. So there are two main ways of restoring a woodland um, one way, and perhaps in many ways the better way, is natural regeneration, where you just leave it and let the trees come back of their own accord. But that takes a lot of time, and a shortcut is to plant some trees to give it a bit of a head start. Climate change is one of the biggest problems that we're facing at the moment, and as these trees grow, they'll suck up carbon dioxide, they'll lock that carbon away inside them, and that'll have huge benefits in the long term for carbon capture. So we're planting a good mix of native species. So we've got oak and we've got hornbeam, we've got some field maple, we've got some crab apple, um, all the, and then on the shrubs we've got goat willow, or pussy willow it's called, um, hawthorn, blackthorn, gelder rose. So a good mix, six or eight species, all native, all grown on East Sussex at a, a good nursery, which is registered on something called the Plant Healthy Register. So, so the trees are protected in these um, plastic, they're called rabbit spiral guards. Those will be only on for the short term, literally, while the trees just get established for the first three, four, five years. Um, and then they will be taken off and they will be recycled. So vision for the future, we're going to have this lovely mixed native woodland which will look as natural as possible. Even though the trees are in lines now, some of them will gradually fade away and the, the trees will naturally establish a density which works for them. But it's very much going to be a woodland for wildlife. Um, you can see we've got two um, lovely um, mature oak trees and around each of those we've put a glade and, and around the glade edges and the ride margins that's where we're focusing most of the shrubs like the hazel and the pussy willow because it's the shrubs that produce the um, flowers and the nectar and the pollen and the berries and the food. So yes it would look like a lovely native natural woodland with glades and a ride and sunny areas um, so within this 10 acre field there will be various woodland habitats, a mix of woodland habitats.